in Isaiah 26, verse 2, it says, Open the gates that the righteous nation, nation which keep the truth may end in. Thou will keep in perfect peace. Thou should do what? Keep it in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Finding peace in the midst of confusion. Listen, we got to do this thing. The Bible says, Thou will keep in what? In perfect peace. Him in whose mind is stayed on thee. Don't put your mind on your circumstances. Don't put your mind on your sickness. Don't put your mind in them giving you a pink slip. But the Bible says, Put your trust in the Lord because he will keep thee in perfect peace. Trust he in the Lord forever. Ever for how long? Forever. Not for just on Sunday, not for on on while going through storms of life, but forever. David said, "I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. So find in peace. How to find peace?" In a midst of confusion, we must do this thing. What about say, Thou will keep him in perfect, perfect, perfection peace. Amen. Who mind stayed on thee? Listen, the Bible say, If you'll let your mind stay on me, I will keep you in perfect peace. The Bible said, Let this mind be you, which was in Christ Jesus. To be my to be to be spiritual mind is life and peace. To be spiritual minded is life and peace. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says that, that how, I'm telling you how to find peace in the midst of confusion. We must do this, my friend. In, in, in Isaiah 26, verse 3, say, Thou will keep him in perfect, perfection peace. Peace is calmness, serenity. Quietness, hey, glory to God. All the confusion around you, hey, glory to God. I got, a, I got a script on there, on, on, on the, on, on the left side, that how, in, in the Bible, glory to God, in, in Psalms 91, Psalms 91, glory to God, that how the Bible is our refuge. In Psalms 91, I'm gonna read it because how to find peace. In the midst of confusion, the Bible says, He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide on the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the notion of pestling. He shall cover thee with thy, thy feathers, and under His wing thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, for the hour that fly by day. Glory to God. No, for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes that noonday. A thousand, how much? A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with the eye shalt thou, shall thou Thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because, why? Because thou hast made the law which is my refuse, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. How to find peace in the midst of confusion. We must do this thing, my friend. The Bible says, Thou wilt keep him or her. In perfect peace, who mind has stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Don't trust in your money, my friend. Don't trust in your job. Don't trust in your finances. Don't trust the money in the bank. Glory to God. Because what might happen? The bank might explode and lost your information. What you gonna do? You gonna crack up for for cuckoo pops? Hey, glory to God. But trust in the Lord with all their heart and lean at your own understanding in all their way. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Your path, my friend. How to find peace 
in the midst of confusion. We must trust in the Lord. When trust ye in the Lord forever, not just on Sunday, not just on Bible study, not just when storms are raging, but forever. The Bible says, verse 4, trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is the everlasting strength. He is your everlasting strength. He is your everlasting strength. How to find peace in the midst of confusion. We must trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Hey, glory to God. But we must do this. We must keep our mind stayed on him. Stop putting your mind on everything carnal. To be carnal mind is death. But to be spiritual minded, glory to God. Spiritual mind comes from the word of God. I meditate in it day and night. My friend, I'm telling you from experience, that's why I'm the happiest person in flesh. Because my mind is on Jesus. Hey, glory to God. I want your mind on Jesus. Whatever going around, it will not affect you because your mind is stayed on Jesus. We must do, do this thing, my friend. We must trust in the Lord. I know I know on a dollar bill I say trust in the in God. In God we trust. My, my friend, my money, my, my, my trust is not in the money because the money going to Pass away, fade away. That's why the Bible says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth where must trust and thieves come and break through. But where your treasure is, where your heart is, your treasure may be also. Trust in the Lord, my friend, forever. Trust in Jehovah. He is your strength. Hey, glory to God. And it's amazing that, that we forget, we forget the last part of the verses. Thou will keep them in perfect peace who mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Because he or she trusted in thee. The only way your mind will be in peace if you trust in Jesus Christ. Amen. He's your mind regulator. He's your heart fixer. He's a doctor in the in the operating room. He's your he's a resource. He's your source. Your job is not your source, my friend. How to find peace in the midst of confusion? Until next time, my friend. Go to my website, RomeInternational.org. Until next time, my friend. How to find peace in the midst of confusion is to trust in the Lord forever. But Jehovah is your strength. Until next time, go to my website, RomeInternational.org. God bless you richly. It's my prayer. Peace.